turn it over here. Uh, we haven't spoken to you since your your win over uh, Kai back in Dallas. So how has <gasps> how has life been now that you have UFC gold back in the house? Man, it's it's, it's crazy because, um, for example, always before the fight, like. Um, Two months before the fight, I don't like to do, like, nothing, man. I don't like to do, like, interviews. I don't like to do, like, meet and greets, whatever. Just, I prefer to be focused in, in my fight, right? Like, of course. Um, but I need to take the, uh, I, I love to take the, the, adv the advantage of the moment, obviously, of the victory, whatever, and start to do all my meet and greets, all the, my media obligations after the fight. So uh, last weekend, I went to San Diego. After that, I went to a little media tour in Los Angeles. Then we are here. Then I'm going to, to Paris. Then I'm going to Spain. It's a new market for UFC, but it's it's a huge market. Hopefully, hopefully in the future, they, they can put more eyes in, in Spain because, for example, I have my I have my podcast in Spanish, and a lot of people uh, from Spain uh, hear my podcast. So, yeah, it's a huge market for you in the future. Well, I was going to ask about that because Dana White has said you're not just a superstar in the Mexican market. You're just a superstar <laughs> in general. Like, you're one of the more popular fighters on the roster. So now that you're hitting all of these new places, are you seeing that more and more fans are now flocking to you as one of their favorite fighters? Man, so I, I think it's, it's part of my job try to 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 get new eyes on my career, right? So, uh Last March, I went to London and uh, I had an, uh, inch, uh, an uh, meet and greet there and it was awesome. It was awesome because it was a lot of people. I, I, I wasn't expecting nothing there, like, oh, maybe just a few people in the line waiting for a, for a picture. But, man, it was a really, really good line there, right? And, I mean, it's an, a whole different country because normally I'm in Mexico, I'm in the United States. So, uh, but, yeah, I, I was excited. Right now, I'm just trying to put my my uh, more eyes on my career. Um, obviously, it's a little bit tired but at the same time i'm just enjoying the moment and and it's awesome like coming from dana white you know the the, the boss of the company say uh, you know who say that it's awesome uh, i don't know man i'm just trying to enjoy the moment be happy and believe just in me like the good the bad comments and the good comments sometimes is too much so i'm just trying to keep the balance to and leave my 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 feet in the ground in terms of your fight career, you had said before your last fight that when, that whether Davidson's ready or not, you wanted to fight in December. The UFC just announced they're going back to Rio in January. Let's go. And everyone just assumes that that your fight, your fourth fight, would be there. Is that something you'd be willing to do? Man, it's like it's like Rocky Foreman. I want to go to Rio now, man. <laughs> I mean, first of all, was like, oh man, you know, because it's hard. It's go it's hard to go to another uh, far country, right? Like, I don't know, like nine uh, nine hours flight, then go there different hours, and different food, whatever. Everything is very hard when you go to a whole different country. But man, I don't know, man. I'm trying. I I'm just trying to be the positive things. Like I'm, now, I'm so excited to go to Rio. You know, the who the ooh, I'm oh, hey, oh, there. I mean, I don't know, man. Rocky Forest in my mind, in my mind right now when the people uh, say real. <laughs> Brandon, aquí Jesús, Let's go. Jesús Rodríguez con Univision. Hermano, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias a Dios. Hay, hay, que, hay que enseñar español a esos cabrones, a todos ustedes. Sí, <laughs> yo creo. <laughs> Brandon, eh, felicitaciones en tu última pelea. Gracias. Vi que se subió, Davidson Figueredo se subió al ring al momento de la premiación. Claro. ¿Representa para ti algo especial la revancha contra Davidson Figueredo? 100% porque imagínate lo que dejaría en mi, en mi legado una cuarta pelea contra Davison, o sea, es, sería la primera vez en la compañía que eso suceda para empezar, y creo que no solamente en la compañía, sino en, en artes marciales mixtas en general, entonces... No, yo recuerdo muchísimo eh, la pelea que tuvo Juan Manuel Márquez en contra de Manny Pacquiao, la cuarta que cómo, cómo culmina con la rivalidad y cómo gana y cómo se inmortaliza su nombre. Para mí, yo me imagino todo eso, o sea, ganando la, la cuarta pelea, inmortalizando ya mi nombre, o sea, no sé, me, se me pone la, la piel eh, chinita cuando pienso en eso, pero obviamente significa algo muy especial hacer historia en, en este deporte. Brandon, tú viniste prácticamente de la nada y demostraste y demostraste que Davidson, que Davidson Figueredo no era intocable. Tú eres la persona que demostraste que Davidson puede ser vencido en el ring. Pero ahora te tocaría pelear en Río de Janeiro, en la tierra Vamos. de Davidson Figueredo. ¿Cómo lo ves tú? No, estoy bien emocionado. Ahorita le, lo comentaba en inglés, ¿no? O sea, al principio sí te... Como... 
piensas en todo lo difícil que, que sería, ¿no? El ir a otro país diferente, diferente comida, diferente horario, el vuelo de, de 8, 9 horas, todo eso es complicado. Pero no sé, o sea, me imagino eh, la película de Rocky, Rocky 4, cuando va a otro país y gana. Y, no sé, yo ahorita trato de ver todo lo positivo y hasta me emociona muchísimo pensar en ir a, 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 a Río a, a pelear por el cinturón y, y ganarlos definitivamente. Después de Caín Velázquez, ¿sientes que estás trayendo el espíritu mexicano hacia la UFC? Ojalá, más les vale, es en serio, tiene que aprender. Hey, you need to speak Spanish, guys, ¿ok? Because this is around the world, all right? Hermano, no sé, nada más. Eh, me gusta muchísimo ayudar a la, a, a la gente mexicana, a la gente latina, porque creo que se han abierto muchas puertas, no solamente para México, sino para Latinoamérica. Hay mucho chamba que hacer todavía, definitivamente. A lo mejor por ahí sí nos falta eh, ajustar a ciertas cosas para empezar a competir constantemente eh, a nivel alto, pero creo que lo estamos haciendo muy bien y creo que eh, a los próximos años vamos a ver cada vez más y más gente latina, ¿no? Representando su, su respectiva bandera. Sigue adelante, muchas gracias. Eh, gracias, hermano. Hey, Davidson. Uh, Davidson, let's no, go. No, no, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, what, I'm from Brazil, so I was thinking about uh, you fighting Davidson in Brazil. Nice. So my, my bad. No, no, don't uh, worry. Man. How is your expectation uh, for, for, for if that happens, fighting in, 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 in Rio? We, we've been waiting for our UFC to go back to Brazil for so long. It would be something really special. And how hard you've been sparring, man. You always have a black I know, guy. right? <laughs> man, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I, I've been healing really well, but I mean, the, the fight was three weeks ago, so I, I need to wait a little bit more. I, I've been I've been training. I hit, I was like hitting pads, doing jiu-jitsu, but no, definitely no sparring. They, they told me like, hey, stop with that like for at least one month and see what, and then see what happened. Man, again, I'm now, I mean, When I start to think about the, about uh, the idea to go to Brazil was hard. Like, man, you know, another country, uh, different hours, different food, you know, the flight so long. Man, that, those, all those things are really hard. But, uh, man, now uh, I'm excited, man. I want to go. I mean, I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to fight in the same. I want to fight in January. This January 21st, I want to go there in, in Rio and fight for the veil and win, and win the veil and, man, win all the hearts of the Brazilian people. Actually, I'm starting to learn uh, Portuguese. I was still learning a little bit of Portuguese. Wow, demais. Yeah. I need more time. I'm still learning. That sounds great. We we'll look forward to see you there, man. Thank you so much, boss. Thank you. Let's go. Brandon. If you were to beat Davison in the fourth fight, who would you want to fight next? Would you want a fifth fight with Davison, or would you want someone like an Alexander Pantoja? Oh, man, you know what? The, the last time when I said uh, uh, will be the last fight against Figueiredo, I fought two, two more times with him. <laughs> so I, I don't want to say it's the last time, but I mean, I think the fourth one will be the last one for us. Uh, I feel that, right? So thinking about next next challenges next next challenger sorry definitely Pantoja is next I, I, I feel he deserves it right now the problem is like we haven't finished business uh, Fidel and I so that's the problem so the goal right now is to finish those business with Fidel and then start to think in the other challenges but definitely Pantoja is is there even who other one like uh, maybe Askar Askarov who uh, he uh, He lost against Kaikara France, but his name is still there, right? So we need to wait a, a little bit about how uh, the flyweight division is moving, but I'll, I'll be ready. Also, after fighting Davison this many times, it seems like both of you have almost created this, obviously a rivalry, but almost a friendly rivalry, like how you talked in the octagon <laughs> after the fight. I'm just curious if, if you and Davison have been able to almost become friends in some weird sort of way through all of this uh, time fighting each other over the last couple of years. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Um, I mean, I... I Again, even right now, and I'm thinking about it. Like even right now, after three fights together, after a, a lot of trash talk from him, like saying a lot of different lies about me, like hey, this guy is racist, this guy is blah blah blah. Man, even with that, I don't hate the guy, man, and I feel a lot of respect for him. Obviously, I mean, I remember, I remember this. Uh, we had the the, the post um, interview with Joe, and he came to the octagon. I'm start to say that to him because, man. I, I don't like the, the bad vibes in my life, man. And that thing about my 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 daughter was real, man. Like, hey, my 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 daughter is watching right now. I don't want to do nothing stupid, okay? So that's it, man. I mean, that's it. So after that, he started to say like, oh, something happened with me in the in the in the in that uh, interview. But now I'm a, I'm alive again, and I want to throw everything against him. 
even with that man, I, I don't hate the guy, man. I understand he's trying to do something for his for his country, for his family. I still uh, believe he has no good people around him, but it's not right now. I'm not thinking about it. It's not my problem. Uh, but I mean, man, is the is the only uh, rivalry who has the opportunity to fight uh, four times in a row? Man, that's crazy, man, and that's very exciting to me. And hopefully, the people uh, can see that fight in the future. I need to push a little bit for it because I mean, he started to go with the with the. Um, with the weight, right? He's a little bit heavy right now, I think so. So I need to push him a little bit to sign the contract for January. It's nothing official yet, but uh, man, I'm excited. I, I wanna go to Rio, that's it. I wanna go there. Right over here, I'm just wondering what you think of Salt Lake City and just this event as a whole, first time that it's ever been Crazy. here. What do you think? It's, uh, Salt Lake City is beautiful. It's my first time here, and it's a really uh, beautiful city. We went yesterday to the Olympic Center. That place is awesome. We tried the, the, the ski thing. I mean, Gage should try it. I mean, I, I, I wasn't scared to do that. But I jumped to the to the pool very high, and it's crazy because when you are there, everything looks higher. Like, but, but I did it. Um, the city is beautiful. I, I I had like a few meet and greets. All the people, a lot of love to me. A lot of Mexicans, you know. I I, I don't knew like a lot of uh, Mexicans lives here in, in in Salt Lake City, and that's awesome. I had more uh, meet and greets uh, like two hours ago in the Fan Expo. Uh, I feel I feel sometimes a little bit sad because um, so the time is over, but you you can see the line is still like very very long, and the guard starts like. The time is over, and they start to to watch how the people start to break his heart. Uh, their hearts, oh, fuck, man. You know, that's a little, a little bit disappointment, but I'm just, I'm just trying to do my best with the FIFO. Thank you. Brandon, one more. Um, did you see the, other, the earlier flyweight fight today with Amir Albazi? A lot of people consider him a future title contender. Uh, it can be. Actually, I, I trained with, with, with Amir uh, in, the, in the past. He's awesome. He's really, his jiu-jitsu is really, is really top. So, uh, of course, uh, he can be a, a, and a problem in the future. Um, but, nah, I mean, until that moment, I, I wish him the, the best because he's really a, a nice guy. Well, he was back here, and he said that uh, modern jiu-jitsu is watered down, and he's just different with his grappling and his pressure. So since you've trained with him, does he is he different in his grappling and wrestling? Um, so... <sighs> I'm just trying to, to think about my my answer, man. Because I mean, jujitsu, jujitsu, man. I mean, uh, when I when I'm fighting, I'm 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 not like thinking about oh, I wanna mix this. I just do it because it's my it's my nature because I do it in the in the gym. You understand? So, but yeah, the the, the transitions, the way uh, how you can get some position, the back, uh, the half mount, uh, whatever. It's it's a little bit different now. So yeah, when you're in top in a high level, it's really hard to keep some position and more in the flyweight division. Who everybody's so fast and everybody's so smooth. So yeah, I I I'm agree with a little bit with that. Brando. Boa galera. Brandon, I know it's not official, but if you go to Brazil and fight Dave Swinson... I want to go to Brazil. <laughs> Let's say if this, this fight happened, so you're going to fight Dave in Brazil, right? Uh, what do you expect about the crowd, Brazilian fans? Let's talk about that. Man, uh, um, to hear Uvar Mohib. Man, I mean, don't forget I'm, I'm from Latin America, man, okay? Uh, definitely... <sighs> The, the all the, the fans from Latin America are very passionate. Sometimes can be a little bit aggressive. I agree with that. And especially uh, talking about uh, Brazil, like they go like completely deep with uh, uh, their fighters, right? They go with like, hey, you're gonna die, you I'm here, all that stuff. I mean, uh, right now, I don't know how to, to lead up about it because the last time I went to Brazil was the first event uh, with the pandemic, so uh, no crowd in that event. But I'll be, I'll be ready for that, man, you know? Uh, I have this stupid idea about, like, if you put your hair and you show uh, just love to the people, the people uh, get understand, they uh, uh, will understand, understand everything. So that's my, my, vibe, my vibe right now. Are you, you are learning Portuguese. Are you planning to talk with Dave in Portuguese there, press conference interviews? That's one of the reasons? Um, okay, uh, maybe yes, you know, it's, it's very weird because uh, when I'm, for example, in the in the last two press conference talking with Figueiredo, it looks like I was like talking by myself, like the guy don't under, doesn't understand and just was waiting for the translator. So I don't know, man, I'm just trying to learn um, one more language and uh, I think 
in this sport is Spanish, uh, English, and Portuguese the most important for the sport. So I just want to learn and you know get get more fans. And um, eh, 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 now say, eh, 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 solo quiero eh, comer mucho asai. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> Muito obrigado. Espero que essa luta aconteça. Obrigado, cara.